What is your full name? Yoshikin Patamazade. Amelia Waterhouse. Oscar Kennelay. Manish Corsera. Bethany Scarlett Campbell. Jamie McDonald. Dama Siva Sisiwe Puche. Alan and Grace, Bernie Hughes as my full name. Florence Phoebe Kampstra. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling happy. I'm feeling great. Excited. Happy. I'm feeling great. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm feeling calm. It's warm and it's it's nice and it's calming. <laughs> Me? I'm feeling great actually. Okay. I'm feeling really good. I'm good. Feeling all right. Feeling nervous about exams coming up. How are you? Oh, thanks for asking. I am I'm great. I'm happy. Good. What's your biggest pet peeve? Hypocrisy in people. Like they say one thing and do another. Okay, those people who just can't accept when they are wrong. Probably when you've got stuff in the boot of your car and you're driving and you can hear all that stuff in the back of your car like move about when you like turn corners and stuff. Cyclists on the road. Like people parallel park but they leave a massive gap. Glitting. Is it called glit? Get like you're still like you're like spill comes through and it like leaps up. When people claim that the sofas are comfier than the like desks and chairs <laughs> when they're just not. I hate it when people walk on my right side. When people lie all the time. What do you think is your best quality? I think I'm probably funny so that I can like bust out a few jokes and people are like, I'm very good at sort of going right this is what I need to do here's what we're going to do and I will do it I'm quite brutally honest I say things the way they are just be honest tell the truth sarcasm I am quite accepting being honest I feel like I can make people laugh you know can cry cool. a few jokes I probably get roasted the most in the group but I will take it I think I'm very open and like loving. If someone needs conversation, I'll always like. What do you think the worst group argument is? When I didn't invite Beth to my birthday party. The Yoshkin's party one with Beth. Ellie kicking off about having the best group chat. <laughs> we went to Starbucks without Ellie. Probably Ellie not getting invited to Starbucks. Um, when Ellie ignored us because we went to Starbucks without her. <laughs> <laughs> has to be Starbucks gate. Even though I wasn't there, I was reading that group chat <laughs> and that was the best night of my life. A chocolate crunch, yeah, when she was like, chocolate crunch is real, but it's not real. What are you doing slash studying when you leave GCL and where? I'm having a gap year and I want, I want to do law and I'll probably do that most of them. Applied animal behaviour and training mm. at Bishop Burton College. Um, history and Italian at Edinburgh. Well, first I'm going to do psychology at Queen's Neuroscience at Nottingham. Then I'm likely to do a master's somewhere, and then I'm going to do a GDR, which is a lot conversion. Uh, psychology at De Montfort in Leicester. Veterinary medicine at Nottingham University. Politics and philosophy, hopefully at Birmingham. I am studying English at Cambridge Union College. Um, I'm going to Leicester to do a law of criminology, hopefully if I get the grades. Um, who do you think is the most annoying person in the group? Ellie. Ellie. <laughs> Ellie. Ellie Bergen. <laughs> Ellie Bergen. <laughs> Ellie. It's probably Ellie Bergen. I think everyone's annoying. I am. Um, I don't know. I'm going to say Ellie. <laughs> Ellie Bergen. <laughs> I can't say me, can I? It's annoying. Jamie McDonald. He's just. The worst. He's just the worst. I'm not gonna lie, everyone has a different thing that annoys me. And I annoy, I'm 100% sure I annoy other people, so. What is your biggest fear? My biggest fear? I'm gonna have to go for insects and spiders. I hate them. <laughs> I kind of like the mainstream fear, I hate insects. And basically <laughs> animals that move really quickly. Like, if a dog or a cat makes a really sudden movement, then it just kind of like. I don't really think I have a biggest fear. Oh, I don't like the sea. I don't like, I don't like snorkeling because I can't breathe properly. Being stranded in the middle of the ocean somewhere. I'll put a picture in if you don't understand, but just the idea that I can't see underneath me and things could be grabbing my feet. Failure. Just not doing well and ended up disappointing. Not just myself, but like my parents. Loneliness, probably. Isolation, being, being left out and being without friends. Being lonely and being lonely different. I, couldn't, I can't stand being lonely. To not achieve what I want to achieve. I wouldn't want to not be anything when I grow up. Failing. I know I just don't fail. I don't want to be like a failure. I'm like, let my parents down. 
not being successful. You know, I don't have to be excessively rich, but successful or sort of more in life in general. Like, I want to be happy. What do you like the most about me? Hmm. The fact that you're just open, and on, not honest in like a bitch way, but you'll just say anything how it is. When we're too scared to tell people to shut up, you'll be like, shut up. Yeah. Cool, thanks, Jane. Oh, that cake. Vain asshole. <laughs> I don't really care that like people call you a girl. So, like, you want to keep it. Okay. I like how you don't care about lots of things, like how people, what people think of you. You know how everyone's judgmental about long hair, like, ooh, that girl. And I don't care about that. You just. Fuck it. Just like the fact that you get like little things done. Literally this last week my whole like energy has shifted. Like suddenly everything clicked. I take a little extra time to like do my shoelaces up or like something. So I'm stupid, like such a more peaceful person. I like your hair, obviously. I like how, especially when you're drunk, you're really cheerful, you're really jumpy. <laughs> you're really touchy as well, you hug everyone. I like how you love animals and how you always go to the farm and you do voluntary work. It's really meaningful, it's really nice. And how you find the hair. How unique you are from everyone else in the group. Like, you're really out there and you're like not afraid to put yourself out there, which is probably really good. This, in our generation, there's so many people who lack drive and you have it. And along with the drive comes like your creativity. That's part of it as well. And honestly, I mean, sometimes it can be a little bit, it can be, it can hurt, but other times it, it makes everything clear and takes away all the bullshit. I love, I love, I love you too. <laughs> I, you're so wonderful. Um, the last sort of question is, can you say anything to our friendship group in general for the future? I want to make sure that we don't end things badly. Have fun. Don't get bogged down or anything that's getting you down. Thank you all very much for making my time at GSL amazing. Have fun. Don't die. Stay lit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first of all, it took me a long time to actually find a proper friendship group. This is my first proper friendship group. Probably still be friends with you all, hopefully when we leave. I really like how the friendship group is really sort of supportive. I find them hilarious, like on a, just a different level. Like, I find the words are really sad. It's inevitable that some of us will get more distant, that's just life. I don't want to go out not loving each other the way that we have for the past two years. Just get up and do what you want to do, as long as it makes you happy. It's been really good hanging around with you guys and I hope you get to where you want to be in life. So I just wanted to say thank you all for being my friends. I never really was in a proper friendship group until sixth form. It was just so nice and warming when I, I joined the group because everyone was so accepting. We, we're all very different from each other and our personalities do conflict at times because we're, we're all very stubborn. Since like literally from year 7 to year 11 I wasn't in a friendship group, I was just like flowing about. Flowing about and then there's no like judgment or anything. I often say really stupid things. Most people would be like, just wouldn't answer me, I don't sort of talk to me or respect me about it. But I think if I ask in the group, like even how stupid it fucking sounds, I'll like try and answer me. But we're all great, we're all brilliant people, and I think stubborn is good because it means we've got strong personalities. I hope you have fun at uni if you're going to uni, or have fun in your gap year if you're taking a gap year, aka flying. And what I really want you all to know is that in any scenario that you're in, if things are going badly, just know, nothing matters. I find people who are like me and we're all gay, which is fun for most of us. I'm very diverse and I just love the group so much. And um, see you all soon. It's never the end. The end is when you die. You, you have so many opportunities in life to do whatever you want. And if, if you're not enjoying where you are at the moment, then leave. Start again. So can we, I just, I want to make sure that it's all love. What we keep and what we remember. That's what I want our lasting memory to be. Cool. And that will make us want to come back to each other because if we end painfully, then we won't want to see each other again. We'll all make a chat sometime when we're 30. Go on, Avenda. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's my message to the group.